What's up, guys? I'm Dwayne. I'm Alicia. And we are Blackboard Gaming, where we teach you about all these great board games that are out there waiting to be played by you and yours. I'm a simple kid. Don't want to I want to show off our shirts. <laughs> These are some really nice shirts. These shirts are designed by our niece, Justine Ross, a gifted artist. Yeah, I, re I really wanted to uh, show our support for her by wearing these shirts in this video. But another reason why we decided to wear the shirts is because it pertains to the game that we're talking about today. That game is Canvas. Canvas is a game designed by Jeffrey Chen, Andrew Nerger, and published by Road to Infamy Games. Let's go to the table for an overview of how this game is played. Canvas is a card drafting set collection game for one to five players where the players are competing in an art festival. To set up the game, we will take the canvas mat and place it in the middle of the table in reach of all players. And then we would take the 12 scoring cards, pick any four, and place them on the colored spaces on the canvas mat. If this is your first game, the rule book recommends using four specific scoring cards. And that is variety, repetition, emphasis, and composition. On future plays, you could play with any four that you want to, or you can look at the back of the rule book and play any one of the scenario setups that they have. Next, we would take these five sets of ribbons and place them next to their matching colored ribbon icons on the canvas mat. Next, we would take this stack of 60 art cards and after giving them a good shuffle, we would place them inside this box and then place this box in its designated space to the right of the canvas mat and then we will draw out five art cards so this is how the game will look once it's set up then each player will get three random sleeved background cards place those in front of them they will also get four inspiration tokens and put it into their play area and then the player who most recently painted something will be chosen as the first player now how does a turn work in this game on a player's turn they can do one of two things they can either take an art card or they can complete a painting to take an art card the player would take one of these art cards that's face up in the display. Starting from the left, they could grab this one for free, but for every one they go in, they have to start from this end. They will have to spend one inspiration token. And remember, they only get four to start with. So let's say the first player really liked this one. So he would take two of his inspiration tokens, place one there, place one there and he would take this card into his hand next player oh before we do that gotta slide these over reveal the next one so next player they decide they really want this one so they take one of their inspiration tokens place it on this one and they get this one and they get one this inspiration token and then these slide over reveal the next one next player they decide hey I'm gonna just take this one so they, they take this one and they get both of these inspiration tokens place it in their play area and then these slide over And we reveal the next one. So let's say this turn I decide to create a painting. Now at most I can have five art cards in my hand. 
I have five, so this turn I have to create a painting. So to create a painting, you would take three of these and place them in one of your sleeve backgrounds. So let's say I take this one and I slide these in there like this. I want to slide them in like that. So I done created this beautiful painting and it's called Precious Adventure. So let's take a closer look at the scoring cards to see what this specific painting will score me. So variety, I would score ribbon if I have hue, shape, texture, and tone. Have all that in my painting. I have shape, texture, and tone, but I don't have hue. So this will not score me anything for variety. Repetition, for every pair of shapes, I would score a ribbon. So I have a pair of shapes. So that would score me this ribbon. Exactly one hue. I don't have any hues. So that wouldn't score me anything. But if I have one of each of the color swatches, which I do have, that would score me this purple ribbon. Also, if you look at this, the black ribbons, this will score me one of those black ribbons per tone. I have two of those, so I will get two of these. And then this will give me a black ribbon per shape. I have two shapes, so I will get two more of these. So these are the ribbons that I've gotten for this painting alone. So let's say on a later turn, I make this painting. Let's go back to variety. I have hue. I have shape. I have texture. I have tone. So that would score me this ribbon. I have a pair. I have three, but I only score for a pair. So that would score me this ribbon. I have exactly one hue. So that would score me this blue ribbon. And then I got all five of the color swatches. So that would score me another purple ribbon. Once all players have finished three complete paintings, the game will end and then we will count up our victory points. And we will get our victory points based on our ribbons. So let's start on this side. Variety, which is the red ribbon, you will get four points for every ribbon that you have, eight points for every two, for two, or 13 points if you got three of them. I've got one that's going to score me four points. Let's go to repetition for the green. You will get three points for every one, seven for every two, 11 for every three, or 16 for four. I got two, so that's going to score me seven points. Emphasis, the blue ribbon. I get one point for one of them, four if I got two of them. Or 11 if I got three. I've only got one, so I got one point. Let's go to uh, emphasis, or I'm sorry, composition. So one, one point for every purple ribbon, one purple ribbon, three points for two of them, nine points for three of them. I've got three of them because all my paintings had composition. So that's going to score me nine points. And then these ribbons, I get two points for every ribbon that I have. And I actually got six of those. So that's going to give me 12 points. Then I would tally up my points, compare them to all the other players. And whoever has the most points is the winner of Canvas. So let's jump right to it. What did you think about the theme of this game? Okay, so I'm going to have to be honest. When you first told me <laughs> about the theme, I thought that doesn't sound very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, when I played it, I enjoyed it much more than I expected to. Yeah, it does. You do feel like you're um, creating a painting. 
So I think that they they did a good job of simulating the experience of creating a painting. Yes, I, I think they did that part well. Yeah, I, I like that. Uh, I like the theme of this game. So what do you think about the components? Well, the, um, the, the, what are they called? The art cards? The art cards are a little bit flimsy, but other than that, I think the components are well done and match the theme. Um, the art cards are just, some of them are so lovely. Um, I love the little um, inspiration tokens. <laughs> they were just adorable. I did like that. Those little artist palettes. <laughs> artist palettes. And um, the ribbons, of course, were, were um, add, added some color to the game. Yeah. And the cloth. The cloth. Yeah, I like the cloth on the, the, yeah. the where you display your yes. uh, art cards. Yes, that is that that was nice. So, I I do agree with you about the art cards being a little flimsy because we played this three times and already we have an uh, issue with some of the art cards being a little frayed. Yes, or whatever, and that hinders it going into the sleeves. Yes. So what you kind of touched on this already? <laughs> what do you think about the art? Well. The cover is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> that painting is just, it just is eye catching. Um, and some of the art cards, they're just, they're, they're lovely. There's nothing else to say. Most of them, there are a few that are little, uh, but <laughs> most of them are lovely. So I love, I love the, the individual art cards. Yeah, I like the color on the cloth board. Yes. Uh, the different colored ribbons. That, yes. uh, that's really nice. And like you said, the box art is gorgeous. It is. I mean, I do like and the fact that it doesn't have a name, <laughs> you know, on the box. So, because you, you know you're meant to hang it on the wall. Yes, you actually could hang that on the wall. And I think that really helps with the uh, marketing. <laughs> like, you know, somebody come in your house and they see this game on this art on the wall, and they'd be like, oh, who painted that? And, you know, you're like, oh, that's a board game. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you know? yes. So now you're taking it off the wall, you're playing the game. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, what do you think about the mechanics? Okay, so um, the creating your own card, that's kind of unique. I'm not, I've not done that before. The set collecting, you know, I like set collecting. Um, so, the mechanics, the mechanics um, match the theme of the game. Yeah. So you're you're coming up with the inspiration. Yes. And so now, like, what am I gonna paint? Yeah. You know. So the art cards. I like the card drafting aspect because you know it's, it it kind of remind me of Century Spice Road when you the first card you grab is free, but as you go down. You know, you have to spend an inspiration token. So, like, I'm inspired to paint this, or I'm inspired to paint that, you know. So, I like the way they incorporated, you know, that into the card drafting aspect. Um, so, what do you think about the teach? I know I say this all the time. <laughs> easy to teach, easy to learn, easy to play. But for real, for real, for real, once you master holding a pencil and writing your name legibly, you can play this game. Oh, of course, you do have to know your colors. You can play this game. Yeah, so I, like I said, I try to bring you games that are easy to teach <laughs> and easy to learn. Well, this Because I don't, I, I don't want us to have no issues at the table. This one definitely <laughs> is. I don't like issues at the table. I just want to play a game. <laughs> you know, I don't want you to be sitting there tight-lipped. You know, <laughs> all right? So... Overall, what did you think about Canvas? Okay, so I think it's a unique theme. Um, I think it's cleverly done. I mean, simulating creating paintings, they, they pulled it off. The only thing I really didn't like was um, sometimes, even though I scored high, I didn't always like the creations I came up with. <laughs> So, yeah, like you said, the art cards, individually, they're beautiful. You know, some of them are, like, real pretty. You're like, wow, you know. But then you got the one with the, the little girl, 
but then you got that one art card with the big hand coming out, and if you end up putting them together, like, what is this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you know, so, and you find yourself, like, like you said, painting is supposed to be chill. You know, when you paint and you want to paint something beautiful, something in your mind, you know, but you felt like, you know, I felt like that I was spending more time trying to score the most points than to create something that I thought was appealing. Exactly. <laughs> in fact, the very first thing that I created, it was it appealed to me. But, but you it, scored so many points off that thing. Well, no. That was after <laughs> I realized that depending upon how you cover them up, it changes the... Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, once, once, so at first it looked pretty, but then when I switched it around, I was like, okay, I scored a lot of points, but I'm not feeling how this looks. <laughs> so, um, how I feel about this game, I think it's overall, I think it's more geared towards the board game collector. So what? You don't think people are, it's not for somebody to actually play? Well, no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I think it's a very well-designed game. Very, It's beautiful. I mean, the, the mechanics, the sliding the card, the art cards into the sleeves, everything about this game is, is beautiful. The thing is, like, like I said, with the art cards starting to get flimsy or whatever and tearing up the more you play this game, you kind of find yourself like, I don't want this game messed up. That's you know? true. So, so you have to be careful with it, you know. But I, I'm, I, I could find myself wanting to play other games other than this one. But this game can never be forgotten because, like I said, the fact that you can hang it on the wall, <laughs> it's, stand, it's over there. You got all these other games over here, but you got canvas over there on the wall. And it will never be forgotten. And you'll always look at it and see like, oh, I want to play that. You know, so I really like that they they did that. You know, that was a great marketing strategy. <laughs> so, I mean, like they say some games have table presence. This one has wall presence. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. So, we liked Canvas. It, it's a light, it's a very light game. And you can play this with pretty much anybody. Um, love it. If you like the contents of the video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before we go, I want to make sure we point out the shirts. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to let you guys, if you really like the shirts, you give her a shout out, uh, show her some love. And that's it. I'm Dwayne. I'm Alicia. We are Blackboard Gaming, and we will see you next.